Welcome back to TTC. Recently, I noticed my daughter's kid size play RZR becoming a bit slower. Still fast enough for her on pavement, she's just over four now or so, but once you encounter grass like she likes to drive on, and having friends ride along too, it's a bit underwhelming. Turns out the 12 volt lead acid battery we've been using is now only charging to about 12.1 volts or so, which sounds good for a 12 volt battery, but these things usually get up to 13.2, 13.4 volts when charged like your battery in your car is at while it's running. An official battery would cost almost as much as we get full size vehicle batteries for over here, so that got me thinking. We have uh, quite a few power tool batteries around here, to say the least, running a channel like this. What if we took the largest like hand power tool class of battery sold right now, the DeWalt 15 amp hour, and just use that. It's an 18 volt battery that charges just beyond 20 volts, but hey, a little extra umph is what we're after here anyways. This is a $390 battery that we purchased to strap onto various DeWalt impact tools and see if we could get any extra ugga duggas out of them just for fun and to share our findings with you guys. Obviously DeWalt makes these things for more legitimate uses like lawnmowers, maybe a concrete saw that can use those 60 volt pickups. But that 15 amp hours of capacity should bring this power tool battery pretty close in line runtime wise with this stock lead acid, which would be a new territory for one of these power wheels type kids cars when using batteries like these. So I bought this cheap DeWalt adapter with simple 12 gauge leads coming off of it and a replacement battery cable and connector with fuse meant for lead acid batteries, just like a replacement cable to repair your current one. And it also had 12 gauge leads. I'll leave links to those below. Now you've heard of M18, but what about DW18? <laughs> That's the future. One of these solder included butt connectors should do the trick and the DeWalt battery can even help with this process and its own wiring with use of a DeWalt heat gun. A tool we found to be pretty good, much better than the Milwaukee in our experience, but for this task, it takes a bit long, not enough direct heat. Go with something else for these solder in the middle heat shrink type connectors. That should work well enough though. We're not breaking new ground here after all. It appears plenty of other parents have hot rodded their 12 volt power wheels with 18 volt batteries from power tools and you can probably find a kit for your kids make and model there somewhere. So it's reading 20.3 volts. Time for some testing. So here's the current 12 volt lead acid. And here's the DeWalt. About one and a half times faster, but we're not after peak speed on pavement. We want that acceleration and torque on grass. She's still locked out in the young kids mode on this thing after all, but our battery just wasn't keeping up in its current state. Hey, sweetheart. I noticed the, on the grass it kind of goes slow, huh? A little bit slower than on the pavement. Yeah. Uh, Daddy made a, a battery that makes it go faster. Do you want to go faster? Just a little bit faster? Yeah? Yeah, why is that why is on the uh -huh. That looks like lighting. Do you want to go faster on the grass? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, let me know if that's better. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Are you 
Okay, you can go. Do you think you like the new? Do you like the new battery? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because it's so fast. <laughs> I'm glad. So yeah, I'd say it went over pretty well with her. She's been using this for a few weeks now and pretty much loves it. It lasts about as long as the stock battery does, but make sure you don't run it down completely, like empty. The car would be happy to pull this pack down past 11 volts if you let it, which the battery pack probably would not enjoy. So take it off early when you see the battery showing low or blinking. This also means running two 8 amp hour or 9 amp hour DeWalt's would have a similar or better runtime while being more likely that you already own those and still somehow costing less than this one 15 amp hour pack. And you'd have those better 21700 cells inside those as well. This 15 amp hour battery is definitely an oddball. Currently how I use it is with the 12 volt lead acid hooked up for sidewalks and crossing streets so I can keep up and you know watch out for her. And because it can skid out a bit when speeding up on concrete. Then once we're at the park and around grass I switch over to the power tool battery. The two and a half mile an hour setting for the car becomes like four, sometimes five miles per hour, but is more noticeable on grass on mode one when it normally bogs down. If your kid's riding around in setting two, expect more like eight, nine miles per hour, a decent jog or run to catch them, so be warned. And of course you can use lower capacity batteries as well. It will just last less long. Expect like 16 to 20 minutes from a five amp hour battery on mixed terrain. Who knows if and how much this shortens the life of your Peg Perego or Power Wheels, but it appears some parents have been using these for years, if YouTube is a source to be believed. Which I mean, come on, who believes anything on YouTube? Thanks for watching guys. Have fun out there with your kids, nephews, nieces, smaller than average friends. <laughs> Take care.